Hello everyone, welcome to the Thastu ICS. Today we have a very distinguished guest with us, Amit Bhole sir. Namaste sir. Amit Bhole sir is a Deputy Secretary under Ministry of Finance. So Finance Ministry, very much typical, you know, money related everything is being handled over there itself. So welcome sir, over here. I hope you are enjoying. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I would just like to know that uh, your journey, right from AAO to secretary, and that too, you have actually worked in various ministries. It's not like that ki aap kisi ek ministry mein rahe, aapka profile it's very dynamic. So, jo, just let us know about that your journey. So, I'll go step behind mm. then AAO. Mm. So. After uh, completing my uh, post graduation in marketing management, I uh, worked in a private sector, as an insurance company, uh, for a year in risk management. And while I was working, I thought that I should give myself a chance for civil services because had I not uh, given myself a chance that point of time, I would have never uh, mm -hmm. come to this level, and I I would have kept working in the private sector. Nonetheless, I thought that was the time. So I gave myself a few years uh, of studies again and then uh, getting myself plunged into the fierce competition. As uh, fate would have it, I couldn't uh, succeed in first few attempts. So then I thought I should then join some other <laughs> other organization as well. <laughs> That's a very obvious question yes. in my mind. <laughs> then, then I uh, joined uh, uh, Life Insurance Corporation as AAO, mm -hmm. which is again a, a different competitive exam there. Mm -hmm. And I was posted in Chennai at that point of time. Uh, okay. And I, while I was also appearing for uh, civil services. So uh, I cracked it, the civil services, while I was working in uh, Chennai. Mm -hmm. And I landed in um, uh, this service, Indian Civil Account Service in 2010. Mm -hmm. So right from that point of time in 2010, since I joined uh, Indian Civil Account Service, which comes under Ministry of Finance, mm -hmm. I uh, got exposed to various uh, facets of uh, governance, mm -hmm. facets of uh, 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 civil services as we say it, or as we imagine it from outside. And that was a great experience from there. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, the, I worked in various ministries, yes, because my service gives me an opportunity to work in various ministries, central ministries, um, mm -hmm. mostly stationed in Delhi. Mm -hmm. So that gives me an opportunity to look at every ministry uh, in a different perspective, to learn various schemes of government of India in different uh, ministries and then contribute therein. Yes, so you, that every time you have to change. <laughs> yes, so that that that's a quite l uh, learning phase and quite satisfying phase, I I should say. Yeah, okay, sir, that was really very interesting. So uh, at that, uh, as of now, it, there are six attempts. At that time, how many attempts were there? So uh, there were four attempts. Four attempts. This was the no last attempt. Uh, there, there were two optionals at the point of time. Prelims also. Uh, yeah, then prelims also. Yes. <laughs> in the so, prelims also, there were prelims. So uh, prelims one option. Yes. Uh, general studies and one optional. Optional was also there, and right now the people are like for uh, for CSET paper. Do have you seen sir? CSET yeah, yeah I do. Paper? I do. See, I do follow it. Yes. <laughs> so you must have seen in this year's paper, twenty twenty three ka paper, jo tha, that was really very high because the uh, students have uh, seen the questions. Uh, they were pointing out that ye to question jo hai wo IIT ki taraf jo practice sets me se aaya hai, ye CAT me se aaya hai. So, it was difficult. So, what was the time you had in maths or it was just like the general studies? Uh, maths was also there. In fact, uh, uh, the general studies in the prelims, if we say only prelims, the general studies was totally different ball game at that point of time. Mm -hmm. uh, wherein uh, the vastness of general studies is uh, was uh, uncomparable actually, I, I think so. Now, what has happened is when I see this compared with this uh, uh, year's paper, I see the it has gone both. I mean, it is vast as well as it is in-depth. In-depth. So, that's another challenge the aspirants have to face. So, one more sir, challenge is that uh, during that time, the resources, the materials, unka collection jo hai, wo dhunna, wo sab milna was difficult. Right now, itna sara hai. It's problem of plenty. Yes. So, most of the aspirants, they have become the collector of materials. In the virtue of becoming the collectors, 
ये डीएम बनने के चा में जो है वो मटेरियल ही कलेक्ट करते रह जा रहे हैं फिर उनको यही नहीं समझ में आता कि उसमें से कौन सा क्या जो है वो कैसे वहां से ले सो एनी टिप्स रिगार्डिंग दैट हाउ दे कुड एक्चुअली डू सो आई थिंक दर इज वन यूनिवर्सल लॉ वन शुड फॉलो फॉर बोथ प्रिलियम्स एंड मेन दैट वन शुड स्टिक टू वन सोर्स एंड गेट इट डन थरली when yeah. when i when i say thoroughly it means that uh, suppose there's there's one uh, class notes are there and one is following it very thoroughly so it doesn't mean that uh, understanding the entire class notes or um, by hurting the entire class notes is uh, is 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 what i mean i certainly mean more than that when i say more than that is that if there is a factual information that is given for, for in from the perspective of prelims mm-hmm. one should try to develop this habit of identifying such factual exam uh, information in other uh, day to day readings that one happens so if we are you uh, reading the newspaper yes, so yes, that that could help mm-hmm. and one also should correlate the facts if one has this habit of correlating the facts and information then that mm-hmm. would help i think and especially when it comes to mains sir the answer is not going to be an, uh, yes. presented like school ka no. the everything is there presented in one page beta you just have to learn this and uh, it's not like that yes yeah, so as you said एवरी टाइम यू हैव टू कीप ऑन लुकिंग फॉर द मटेरियल एंड वो सारा मटेरियल जो है वो एक साथ जा करके फिर आपका एक मीन्स का जो है कम्प्लीट आंसर इट एक्चुअली मीन्स सो वन मोर थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू नो एज एज यू सेट दैट द डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड ऑल एंड देन इट मस्ट बी वेरी हेक्टिक फॉर यू बहुत तो हेक्टिक होगा ही ना सो नाउ द इज वॉट हैपन्स द स्टूडेंट्स many people not only the students but there are a lot many people who are like ki thoda sa kaam kar liya uske baad mamma ne kuch aur bol diya to mamma kitna kaam karna hai ek hi din mein i have to study also and a lot many things so excuses wala thing is getting too much into today's youths so how you are balancing the life and with this work how you are doing so that? work life balance it's a it's a perennial question mm-hmm. you know, be it government sector or otherwise mm-hmm. so i think uh, one should keep up with one's hobbies <laughs> while while uh, dedicating oneself uh, to the work mm-hmm. because hobbies are those uh, moments individual and personal to us which keeps us relaxed yes so i think that D- is in the daf also they have to write yes they have to so it's not about only mentioning what uh, for the sake sir, of sir when it comes to daf sir many students are like ma'am kya fail karte ho usme batao aapki kya hobby hai So you push the like that. Interestingly in in interview I was asked what is your hobby. So I I told that what was my hobby I told that watching dramas is my hobby. Mm-hmm. So he said no no what the chairman said watching dramas how could that be a hobby? Mm-hmm. It's a specific time then mm-hmm. the dramas are featured in mm-hmm. the auditoriums. Yes. Hobby is what you do when you come home relax so you are working in a private sector. Mm-hmm. So what do you do when you come back home? So mm-hmm. I told that I watch TV mostly songs. <laughs> so then the interview got around that, and so that's how it is. So one should be. Uh, I learned that uh, one should be very honest also while giving this kind of answer. Yeah, so that that helps actually. That mm-hmm. did help me in the interview as well. Mm-hmm. So so as you said, sir, just an interesting question because uh, when it comes to the YouTube and all, there are people they say that if you are saying this thing that you like songs. Mm-hmm. do they ask to sing also <laughs> <laughs> no no singing is different nahi to like aapko apna favorite song sunna hai jo aapko sunna hai so agar aisa to aur acha hai to suna dijiye aur kya acha to that is yes 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 if they ask then why not so do they j- j- do also something like this are huh? not necessarily but if they do that it's a positive sign oh. that they are interested in you okay so that, that's what then I mean. uh, it's amazing if you are li- liking songs then it's good you can mention that also Yeah, this is really very interesting. Going good. So one more thing, I would like to know, sir. As you said that initially you failed. Mm-hmm. You must have heard about there are so many students who are committing suicide because of the failures. Mm-hmm. They are not able to face this thing, and not only the uh, this failure thing, sir. There are children. मम्मी पापा ने बोल दिया फेसबुक यूज नहीं करना है स्नैप नहीं यूज करना है स्नैपचैट एंड ऑल वट एवर द सोशल मीडिया एंड उनसे मोबाइल ले ले रहे हैं तो चिल्ड्रन देर कमिटिंग सुइसाइड वेयर आर यूथ इज गोइंग विद दिस थिंग वट काइंड ऑफ सजेशन वुड यू से लाइक फेलियर्स रिलेटेड टू एंड दिस विल ऑल्सो नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एज फेलियर वेन द पेरेंट्स आर टेकिंग योर मोबाइल सो वन one should be very careful what importance one gives to one's activities 
so that is where uh, this is all coming from mm -hmm. so learning to accept failure is also a good learning i think that should work one should adopt that mm -hmm. and it's it's not like somebody can teach you that you have to teach yourself the same thing because see it's you have mentioned couple of things of uh, so called failures but mm -hmm. there could be other things so for example if i am an aspirant and i am i have decided that from tomorrow morning i will get up at 6 o'clock and start my studies at 8 o'clock till 1 mm -hmm. o'clock i'll study for 5 hours and somehow i could not do that do i consider it as failure mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if i do i should take it positively and next day i should improve it yes sir. so yes. this is how you you talk to yourself and you improve, improvise on yourself and mm -hmm. that's where there will be no room of what i can say disappointment mm -hmm. but only room for improvement mm -hmm. so the, uh, and uh, one more thing hit into my mind was this aao your plan b or it was like it was like plan x <laughs> <laughs> so just how when it happened because i had uh, i had experience in insurance sector mm -hmm. and i uh, i mean i had many colleagues working there so when i resigned from my job and ventured into studies so i told my colleagues ke oh, boss if i can't get through i'll come to you for work mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. job that uh, or the assistance that i would want mm -hmm. so they were all okay with this that uh, they were all okay saying that kabhi jab chahe to bajana we will we'll get you accommodated to somehow somewhere so that was my plan b to join mm -hmm. private sector in oh, okay. in insurance but eventually what happened was such opportunities of uh, wo and for that matter there was another exam which i cleared in uh, general insurance also as a specialist so those came at that point of time and i just mm -hmm. thought that i'm anyway i'm appearing for prelims why not to appear for these examinations yes yeah, so i appeared and i got cleared so that was as the simple thing <laughs> because uh, there is always uh, this thing going on into the mind of the aspirants uh, that whether we should have plan b or not because while preparing for upsc they are in so much loss so yes. much engrossed in that they forget to think that it's life is beyond that also one more thing that preparation of upsc makes you prepared for other exams as well mm -hmm. Mm, so yes, be, be, so it, be, be it any competitive exam or be it an exam called life. So what I so when I say that LIC or other insurance uh, examination was not my plan B, mm -hmm. I actually automatically got prepared for it. So yes, in the path, in the path of to destiny. Uh, yes. <laughs> so all these things. Yes. So uh, one should be uh, open enough also in mm -hmm. terms of uh, uh, looking for other options. because see when uh, an aspirant starts studies for civil services it's very uncertain path mm -hmm. number one number two these are the promising years of life one is investing mm -hmm. wherein the other uh, colleagues of his or her are probably learning more and earning more earning more yeah so that enjoying that enjoying more enjoying more is different part yes <laughs> so one should be very much conscious in terms of doing how many number of years i will be investing solely for preparation and then what would be my uh, path of action mm -hmm. because unless and until one has such kind of thinking in one's mind then uh, then things will be i think more clear that's okay. what i think okay okay so so could you throw a light on the your experience related to the various ministries you have worked in so uh, i have worked in more like like you have worked in meet yes. also yes it's <laughs> meet was recent one yes yes sir uh, so every minister has a different uh, experience that i have got for example uh, i worked in uh, uh, ministry of industry so mm -hmm. dipp at that point of time when i was there uh, now it's called as dpiid mm -hmm. so at that point of time we were looking at four grants so we were dipp msme um, dhi and dp and that point of time in industry so all the four grants that we were looking at because we were as the exchequer of government of india so there were different schemes in all these four ministries and different challenges at this point of time and, and coming from an it background in uh, handling it in uh, my headquarters uh, i was given the responsibility of the pilot project of e bill e oh, so the e bill that has that has come to forefront right now so the mm -hmm. starting happened at the point of time so our ministry was the pilot at that point when it actually started 
16 mm. so that that by the point of time it was uh, it's like it was not technology but the people mm -hmm. that was more challenging so uh, when we uh, we introduced that and my boss told that uh, you had this uh, pilot and all these people in the ministry came to me to sir ye to ban kar dijiye kyunki ye to hame double kaam karna padta hai because at the point of time it's success so full day it's now it's low it is now like this that you are seeing but at the point of time the the officials in the ministry had to do double the work because they had to do the uh, prepare the bill manually as well as electronically so they said no, sir ye to double kaam ho gaya hamare liye aur hame to training bhi nahi hai sir ab kaise kare so then bas dekhi piche ki mehnat so then i asked them bhai बैठो बैठो सबको चाय पिलाया मैंने उनको पूछा कि हैव यू एवर वर्क हैव यू एवर ट्रैवल बाय ट्रेन हाँ हाँ उसमें क्या है सो हैव यू एवर बुक टिकट ऑन आई आर सी टी सी हाँ हाँ उसमें क्या है तुमने किसने सिखाया आपको आई आर सी टी सी बुक करने के लिए तुमने किसी ने नहीं तुम ये भी वैसे ही है इट इज वेरी सिंपल यू पहले जाके देखिए तो सही कितना है क्या वॉट वॉट एवर इट इज इज देर एनी थिंग दैट दैट इज बॉदरिंग यू ओनली बिकॉज इट इज अ न्यू थिंग दीदी कैसे करना है बोले कैसे तुमको फेसबुक कैसे सीखा तो मैं ऐसे ही कर लो ट्राई तो करो हिट एंड देन ओनली यू वुड बी एबल टू सो सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स these are the enriching experiences actually mm -hmm. so other than uh, and this is a leadership quality also that you are making people do uh -huh. what yes, they yes. don't want to do <laughs> that is really very yes, good yes, yes. and that too with uh, you know pyar se ek tum soft skin aajkal yes. sa corporate mein and this mein everywhere it works it yes certainly yes sir so that's uh, that's what i learned that in in government if you address the process everything will fall in place mm -hmm. so that is one learning that i have learned through ac across all the ministries mm. so if you are not aware of the process you will keep on grudging uh, any pro uh, regarding any problem and blaming a person mm. or uh, blaming some other uh, you know department ye wo nahi karta hai wo wo nahi karta hai but if you know the process mm -hmm. then you know where the problem is and how to solve it so that's that's what my take away is and the same thing can be applied in the life also yes absolutely absolutely yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They, they, the aspirants also they can also apply yes. the same thing mai the mom mai chalta jab ye koi kuch bol raha tha mere bacche hai is lo offer this yeah absolutely so as you have worked in uh, meeting so uh, recently there were a lot of news related to the data privacy breach and uh, this thing the cyber security also these kind of issues what's your take on that that where we are heading towards because when it comes to the like world war people talk about the geopolitics and all and the, then people say that the next world war is not going to be fight on the on the basis of weapons it is going to be through the cyber security thing and uh, means online or the a uh, bio weapons will be used what's your take on this thing that data privacy recently sir this covid data was also uh, breached mm -hmm. and then aadhar also so what do you feel so see in uh, today's cyber world all this uh, challenges we uh, face mm -hmm. the solution comes after the challenge yeah. mm -hmm. so that's that's one mm -hmm. uh, bad thing so as a policy maker mm. if we anticipate a solution anticipate a problem and then uh, make good for it in the policy itself that is how it is going to we are going to be step ahead against all this uh, uh, ill effects of cyber security mm -hmm. coming to specific problem specific issue of uh, data privacy there's a bill that is uh, uh, that is under consideration mm -hmm. lot of discussion is going so as a part of process all the new policies or legislation or bills that are uh, that the government introduces the government asks people like you and me mm. for their opinions yes sir so how many of us have genuinely given this kind of opinions yes. and mind you all these opinions that are given mm. are genuinely looked into it's not like that आपने दे दिया एंड देन नो बडी लुक्स एट इट नो नो इट मींस ये जो वेब बिल ओपन कर देते हैं यू वांट टू गिव दैट वेबसाइट पे अपना जो भी इनपुट देते हैं देते हैं उस दैट इज ओपन ऑल ऑल मिनिस्ट्रीज ऑल ऑल बिल्स आर ओपन ऑल पॉलिसीज आर ओपन थ्रू इनटू पब्लिक एंड आस्क आस्किंग फॉर द 
feedback from that yes, uh, yes, from general public as such. Yes, so that one should be very uh, careful in terms of and responsible in terms of giving such kind of feedback. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, it's very easy to blame once the policy is there, but it's very responsible to uh, give a feedback uh, well in advance. So I think that one should be. Uh, feedback and feedback because there will be a lot there are a lot many people into yes. it they might give mm, they might ideas yes. no why why it so you and me we are working on uh, we are working on mobile phones and laptops tabs everything and if you feel that oh this is a kind of challenge that i am having i am fear fear that my data will be lost in this particular time so and this can be particular thing can actually prevent this so you should suggest this kind of uh, Uh, solutions so we have to be this. become really very responsible citizen despite just to blame and keep on blaming on the government. and there are ways and means i mean you, mm-hmm. you mentioned mighty so mygo is a good platform wherein citizen can engage mm-hmm. oneself and uh, participate in the entire governance process and and, and i have seen that once you have registered over there they keep on sending mails also yeah yeah they they keep on updating <laughs> you so that's <laughs> they keep on pinpointing you beta yes, ye competitions are here yes, yes these are the kind of things you know i have seen on the uh, website is also very interactive yes, very yes. interesting that's good so uh, uh what do you will say uh, related to this uh, data center policy uh, so data center policy will be the next buzzword in the it industry mm-hmm. uh, so see many of us have heard of pli uh, productivity link incentive so mm-hmm. that is being replicated in across ministries across industries in india mm-hmm. in terms of government supporting various uh, industries and industrial growth in india mm-hmm. similarly in it industry so setting up a data center will be a major aspect or a major uh, policy uh, support for the industry so that will be a good uh, aspect to look at and that is a Uh, the, that is going to be new buzzword in uh, IT industry. I'm sure. So please do explain that uh, to to the audience that what is this data center? Like data center policy, are to rehe? Like what what kind of uh, data so, center they have? We are so see about. when we talk of data privacy, we we all want the government wants the governor the governance as a whole uh, is aimed at securing the data of a common person, common man. Hmm. Now today we are not one is not very sure that where our data, common data, whatever our personal. or any any medical data anything that is being stored at mm-hmm. at what level at what uh, location it is stored at and how it is being used so if we want to secure that and if we want to really kind of prevent the bad usage or ill usage of such kind of data one has to have the data centers that storage physical storage physical capacities of this has to be stored somewhere where mm-hmm. that can be controlled or that could be monitored monitored so the data center is a place where all these servers will be there and uh, there will be service providers who will be giving this kind of service to let's say if you are a um, startup who is seeking data of uh, mm-hmm. many people mm-hmm. so they will providing provide this service to the such startups and they that data will be stored in uh, within the four walls of that particular data center that will be stored in india so mm-hmm. that's how okay. we'll yeah. ensure that it is not And so there are other aspects of this. Is I'm just telling ah, you uh, layman's, understanding. Uh, uh, layman's life. So it's like uh, that uh, when we see in the iPhones that your data is actually being stored in the cloud. So it is not actually getting stored in the cloud. It is actually getting stored somewhere on the ground itself. Ah, uh, किसी तो building में जो है it is actually being stored. So so is actually talking about that only where your data is actually in, uh, going to get stored. And the thing is that uh, in nowadays. And to, to in the future also, the most precious thing is data only. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, uh, many times we see that your data is actually being uh, uh, has been breached to so many lakhs of people, and all of information has been put on the dark web, and all mm-hmm. these kind of things. So once these kind of policies will be there, so there are this, chances. There are chances that this this, uh, this all will be curbed. Yes, this all will be prevented. Yes. And let's see. I I hope. <laughs> things get better so as uh, you are having sir it background also what's your take on chat gpt have you tried your hands uh-huh. on that so of course i have yes <laughs> so what do you see so chat gpt is an uh, is a is a concept that is going to revolutionize that has actually revolutionized the entire uh, mm. interface between mm. common man and google for that matter yeah. like 
earlier we used to say uh, that google is the only place where we can go and search whatever google we has also come up with they have got yes they they their own bard yes, yes i'm yes. sure so chat gpt is uh, revolutionize this kind of interface and uh, that is i mean it is a challenge challenge for a common uh, it's a challenge for a person like you and me to uh, to really uh, extract the positives of uh, internet yes, so yes, that is yes, recently there was a lot of use over there in the in mumbai itself mm-hmm. related to the writers basically because the, there are because so many they, filmmakers yes, jo ki apna jo script hai wo bhi chat gpt se likha hua hai so with these people who where they will be going so somewhere it might be taking your job but somewhere it will be it creating be, yes, yes, yes. when this computers came to us time bhi logo ka aisa hi tha problem yes, so, yes, yes. absolutely right so when i was going through your youtube channel so i saw that you were teaching about this thing nerdle game what is this sir mai ko thodi der dekha mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha ki ho kya aa raha hai actually uh, i have this uh, habit and hobby of uh, uh, solving riddles and mm-hmm. puzzles so uh, many of us have heard of wordle uh, so yeah. it started with wordle many such games came in uh, being mm-hmm. nerdle is one of them wordle is Uh, the uh, uh, letters wala the letters the the mm-hmm. the uh, word part of it mm-hmm. the nerdle is uh, the mathematics of part of it so so zar de mang le rahe hain so mujhe acha lagta hai ye karna matlab whenever i i get some time so that relaxes me solving those kind of riddles and puzzles that so, relaxes yes kuch logo ke liye lagega ki tension ho gaya bhai solve nahi ho raha that is that is that is really very good so uh, so like uh, we was talking about this chat gpt thing uh, and ye bhi jo deep fake ke bare mein bhi sir aapne to suna hi hoga recently kitna zyada jo hai is cheez ko lekar ke there were a lot many things because the celebrities images were actually being cropped mm-hmm. so uh when this comes to these kind of ais and all so can we fight these kind of ais with the another ais <laughs> so see again i'll give, go back to my basic uh, statement that i made that uh, it's a challenge for us to extract the goodness of internet mm-hmm. so when we say uh, ai versus ai actually it's human mind versus human mind versus another human mind mm-hmm. so both the creation of both is human mind only mm-hmm. and in such case that if if see in any technology that is introduced or that is uh, uh, that is used has a flip side of it mm-hmm. and uh, only because it has got flip side doesn't mean that it 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 doesn't it is not useful mm-hmm. so my point is that yes there are such challenges of uh, data privacy your images are being uh, misused by a uh, few techies mm-hmm. but uh, on the other hand it is also challenge it is also uh, posing you a challenge to responsibly use your images also mm-hmm. so that is that is another thing so it's so to as it is that people will be like a smiling face bhi dalne ka dar lag gaya to i like what to do with that that right is extremist <laughs> it's yeah. obviously sir because the, the, the thing has become really very difficult now from where yeah, to delete like uh, many a times you must have Paper seen that uh, the yes. people are sharing when their children the images also over there on the insta and uh, there are a lot many social platforms they are doing that and in those children's images are also being used on this deep fake through this deep fake technology and they are being actually shown as an adult mm. you would be shocked mm. to see those images mm. so it is going really very bad and i hope that solution comes very soon so as like as of now you are in ministry of finance So please can you explain some basic difference between the economics and economy because many a time people like kabhi economy bol dete hain kabhi economics bol dete hain and even the aspirants also <laughs> or based origins also so uh, see so wrongly it is interchangeably used to mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure of that but see economy is more of a broader uh, concept how things run in in a particular uh, area and how uh, financials happen in that particular area economics is about the principles that based on which economy runs mm. so how financial transactions happen or how things happen so economics is more of a uh, study mm. and economy is what is the outcome of it oh, so okay 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 sir sir so, ha- you said that as we were talking earlier that you have worked 
यू हैव हैंडल दिस भारत संकल्प यात्रा भारत संकल्प यात्रा रिसेंटली दैट इज लॉन्च्ड बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आई एम गिवन रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ कपल ऑफ स्टेट्स एज डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रभारी सो दिस इज अ यूनिक कंसेप्ट रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस बाय गवर्नमेंट टू रीच टू द लास्ट माइल लास्ट पर्सन ऑफ द कंट्री टू रीच आउट दिस बेनिफिट्स टू दिस लास्ट पर्सन सो मेनी टाइम्स वन वन सीज दैट लाइक इन सो मेनी मिनिस्ट्रीज आई हैव सीन दैट the persons who are receiving the benefits are repetitive mm. in that case in in such cases those could be genuine no doubt but while concentrating on those we could actually who are in need of who are in need or who are not aware of mm. such benefits could come to them so this is an attempt of government to reach out to those people and to uh, make all the schemes more inclusive so that is that is a unique attempt to in 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 a unique way that is being presented so that's a different experience again okay so it is a, 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 why it is like yatra so if the people are traveling or what no, no, not not people are traveling the the vehicle which is carrying all this information is traveling okay so e so mobile the, kind of thing uh, so that's there's a van which is going from hmm. one gram panchayat to another gram panchayat Okay, so that so is moving. That It's is not like Dandi Yatra. <laughs> no, and then okay. the the district conversion is again um, uh, having its local programs around that van whenever it reaches to the next the gram panchayat. So that's okay. what. Okay, so it, it they are targeting the panchayats and but they are in urban further. also. Urban areas also. No, no, no. I'm like uh, that. They are targeting a few people, and those people will be disseminating the information like so that. It's like this. Uh, the gram panchayat. Uh, when the vehicle reaches gram panchayat there is this responsibility given to the uh, nodal officer there to identify a place where maximum number of people can gather or if there is a weekly hut going on near that hut where people can see and mm-hmm. get exposed and get to know about these schemes there are certain number of schemes that are uh, given uh, information of which has to be disseminated there is a mm-hmm. um, uh, communication material that is available and that point of t- at that location this gram sevak is responsible for Uh, uh disseminating information through various audio visual equipments so there could be uh engagement games that will happen quiz yes. games that could be uh, uh, uh other uh, so called activities wherein to engage people and then through that give this information okay. so such things are targeted and being so targeted. the activity through activity the information is yes. G- yes. given the awareness yes. is so yes. it's like the bachcho ko jis tarike se karte hain na kaus mein na so first of all pamper karna uske baad batana ki what is right and what is wrong what you are supposed to do yes. for these and all it's a, so uh, recently we have seen that there are so many economies wherein the people they are opting out not to get married mm-hmm. and uh, not to have babies also even if they are married they don't want to have babies and there are certain countries like that you can see the uh, china and uh, uh, south korea especially mm-hmm. like south korea ho gaya japan is there and uh, this italy also the babies they don't they are not planning babies and the, the reason behind that is their pocket mm-hmm. finance paisa jo hai wo basically wo, wo that is the main factor over there that is playing so because of all these kind of things they uh, financially they are getting though good because for two people both of them are making money they are very good they are traveling enjoying and everything but if, uh, In India, we have a different approach. Why? Our once, who is going to take the first question, which is about married couples, who are going to take the first question, like for that, the, 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 the parent, because still we are staying with the parents, so that kind of pressure is there. But in the other countries, they are getting away, mm. financially getting better. But the social bonding that is there, those are the things that that is getting finished off. So in the future, that might. impact us also mm-hmm. to aapka kya lagta matlab aapko kya lagta hai ki like how deeply this money actually impacts someone's mind that these kind of things are also being decided on the basis of this money so uh yes money is one part of it huh? that is that is one part to uh, that to act true... accordingly Yes, uh, that is there. वो लोग कहते हैं ना कि अगर तुम मिल जाओ तो जमाना छोड़ देंगे हम बट जमाने से ही काम होता है ये द मनी थिंग मैटर्स बट एट सच ए डीप लेवल दैट यू आर नॉट प्लानिंग टू हैपी बीज एंड दैट थिंग एक्चुअली विल बी इम्पैक्टिंग द कंट्री ऑल्सो इन द फ्यूचर बिकॉज नो वन विल बी देर कंट्री कैसे बनता है विद द पीपल ओनली नो पीपल इज देर तो कौन सा कंट्री है ना 
So how all these things? So all these things. See, this is a evolution of a society. Mm. So in this evolution of society, see earlier also it happened like this that few things in Western world happened and that slowly got percolated in here in India. But I strongly feel that India has got its own strong cultural bond and yeah. cultural roots. Yes, sir. With that in place, I think all such things will take time to to penetrate. Here in India, because mm-hmm. while we you are giving examples from uh, Italy or South Korea, mm. I'm sure there are examples here in India as well. Yes, yes. Even my friends also uh, they are like, "Hey, baby bus, we yes. are not planning so it." There, and this, so this some... could this could be this could be there. I mean, this is an evolution. Mm-hmm. When we say evolution, it is also taking. Um, so evolution is not uh, uh, reaching out like uh, spread of air, spread of uh, gas. So it is. Uh, it is uh, the cultural roots that are uh, like thinning out uh, such kind of uh, spread and such kind of uh, activities and it is so it will be like uh, we'll have to adapt to the situation from our perspective of, with our uh, cultural values and uh, which values in place and mm-hmm. that will take time i think mm-hmm. and sir kai na kai i also i feel this thing that nuclear family kind of thing this is also actually changing these kind of perspectives or what That could be one reason. Yes, yes. That could that also be the yes, reason yes, because, because there are no one is to guide you. That no one is to like. guide you, and the, you can say urbanization is also one of the things that yes. that is that is responsible. So, see, we cannot see a problem in isolation. So, uh, everything is. So there are not many things actually, but the re- main reason which people put forward is that itna property nahi hai, itna it's money nahi hai, so we yes. cannot afford children because the children, in order to just paida karne ne, we have to take care on Lord, you know. Yes. Because our parents also they have invested so much, as, as, so th- that is there. So they think like that. Right. Yes. that yes. There are so many yes. things. So, so I to believe that nuclear family is also one of the reason behind yeah. that. Yes, could be. So <laughs> that could be the thing. Uh, so recently we had a, a guest over here, Colonel Sirohi sir. He said that these geopolitics, all of these actually surround surround economy. ये जो पैसा है, उसी के ही पीछे. If US is at some time helping you and not other, the previous the ex friend, so it means that their interest has shifted on you because of the money thing only, or some other resources with resources which they actually want to use. So what's your take on this thing? That uh, like what do you want to say on this? I think he is correct in mentioning so because mm-hmm. see at the end of it, uh, there are there are economic interests that drive a nation in terms of uh, uh, going ahead with its uh, diplomatic relations. Mm-hmm. Uh, geopolitics is certainly uh, one thing that all the nations uh, consider while taking any decision. Yes. And and he been asked also yes, when no, he yes, while so. buying oil from Russia. Yes, yes. So uh, it is an inevitable inevitable thing in terms of uh, any decision that is made uh, economically mm-hmm. and uh, in in uh, in any diplomatic relation for that matter. See the blocks. See the uh, the, the trade blocks. Mm-hmm. If you observe the trade trade blocks, you will immediately understand what kind of uh, geopolitics is going on. Yes, sir. So yes, one sir. trade block vis a vis other trade block. third trade block so if we observe then we understand which is going where so i think this is a good example for uh, for the aspirants also mm-hmm. that uh, they could uh, give this perspective in their answers uh, in the, if, if geopolitics comes because uh, earlier us was helping pakistan yeah. right now they are more into us बिकॉज इंटरेस्ट आर शिफ्टेड एंड पाकिस्तान बेचारा बेगर टाइप बनते जा रहा है नाउ द इंटरेस्ट इज ओवर हियर तो समटाइम्स थोड़ा सा स्केयर भी थोड़ा डर भी लगता है कि यूएस जिस जिसके साथ जा रहा है उसको खराब करते चला जा रहा है इट्स गोइंग लाइक दिस सर वट टू टेक लाइक एज ऑफ नाउ दिस क्रिप्टो करेंसी थिंग सो मच बस थिंग एंड इन दी ऑफिस ऑल्सो इन द स्टाफ रूम ऑल्सो पीपल से अदर फैकल्टीज दे लाइक क्रिप्टो करेंसी में लगा देते हैं पैसा बिटकॉइन में लगा देते हैं पैसा सो वट यू वुड सजेस्ट एंड वेर वी आर हेडिंग टू वर्ड्स सो सी आई कम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेवेन्यू सो आई कैन से दैट रिसेंटली इट इज बीन टैक्सड सो दिस मीन्स दैट द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसी और द इन्वेस्टमेंट इन क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज लुकड एट वेरी सीरियसली 
and by the policy makers also because that is the the benefits of which is being are being taxed mm-hmm. uh, as a matter of uh, investment option yes there see let's go back to the statement made by the uh, uh by the bitcoin owner i am forgetting the uh, name bitcoin just in went he said uh, in some years either you will have all all of us using cryptocurrency or there will be none of us using it so okay. we are we are heading to either of the situation mm. so it's going to be there yes i think as of now it looks like that we will be having a uh, back full of it mm. and uh, it is one of the inevitable options in future also so because central so the uh, central bank is also thinking to have you know, introduce its own digital currency based on the same uh, technology so that's where we are heading so mm. uh, it's it's inevitable that it will be in uh, to fir uske liye we have to come up with some other type of laws and all because yes, that it will, and eventually it will come yes uh, because everything is going from one system to another system how you will be tracking uh, everything track, yes, that when it comes to money laundering kind of thing so that when Th- those kind of things penetrate into that also so True. that is going to be really very complicated yes <laughs> so any kind of tip uh, as you just now uh, mentioned related to the mains answer writing mm-hmm. so any kind of tips related to that so not particularly for mains or claims or interview mm-hmm. i would like to uh, this is a good platform to mm-hmm. express myself also so yes. thanks for that so i think uh, my only suggestion to all the aspirants is that uh, keep following your dreams and more you follow your dreams faster will they come to you and if you think that you you're not the dreams are not coming to you i'm sure you're not following hard so mm-hmm. harder you follow faster will they come to you yes and so the right path is, also yes yes no, absolutely it's like ab ja rahe ho left and the dream is on on the right side <laughs> yes. no be, be, before following uh, starting getting into something you have to chalk out the do your homework also what you are getting Plans, into yes. in right sir so any other kind of things sir because as i told you in the starting itself dhe sara book jo hai wo pile up kar lena hai aur many times this thing also comes mere paas abhi book kam hai jab sare aa jayenge to uske baad hum padhenge ऐसा कभी नहीं होता इट इज अंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस सो माई माई आई कम बैक टू द सेम थिंग दैट आई हैव मैंशन दैट स्टिक टू वन सोर्स एंड गो इन डेप्थ आई थिंक दैट इज दैट इज वेयर द सक्सेस की लाइफ आई थिंक सो हियर वॉज our very interesting guest Amit sir thank you for coming Thanks it was for really it. very great sessions so do come again sir sure <laughs> do come again sir thank you so this was all about today's podcast i hope you people enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye take care and have a great time jai hind